Morning, Internet. It's Halloween. Guess what I am? Or whatever. Christmas Waldo. Hey. My wife's car in San Diego. Hopefully I can show you a picture uh, at some point. But, uh, yeah. But that's not what I want to talk about. Today I want to talk about television. Uh, particularly Netflix. Uh, which now has more subscribers than HBO. Which... It's pretty impressive to me. Uh, it's not exactly an apples-to-apples comparison because HBO costs $12 a month or something. We don't really know what HBO charges per month because it's all tied up in cable fees and extra tiers and premium subscription packages. And Netflix is just pay your own internet and pay $8 a month and you've got Netflix. And you've got all of Netflix. And I think that works pretty well. But it's obvious that Netflix is onto something big here. Uh, now, Hulu's trying to do the same thing, but I refuse to pay $8 a month for Hulu because they also show commercials. On top of that $8 a month, if I'm paying money for something, I shouldn't see commercials. I know that that's hardly ever true. I mean, we pay for magazine subscriptions and they've got ads. We pay for uh, cable and it's loaded with ads. It, it's this, this whole ratings game that, uh, may, that, 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 sort of, that sort of drags down the intelligence level uh, of, of, of television because it has to continually cater to the lowest common denominator and it has to continually cater to a bigger and bigger audience. Case in point, the Learning Channel. It's not even called the Learning Channel. It's called TLC. We're talking about a channel that used to have Beekman's World and educational programs and now shows these lowest common denominator reality shows that just don't really do anything. You, you, you feel gross just watching them. You want, you, you know, give me the time back that I spent watching this program. I, I'm wondering if the Netflix model, uh, and, 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 and by extension the HBO model, can work for a channel like Discovery on the low end, how it's made. Stuff like Mythbusters. Uh, dare I say it? Alton Brown's Good Eats it is one of the most educational shows on television and also very entertaining. And, and I would pay, you know, I would pay $8 a month uh, for a channel that included unrestricted access to the Good Eats archive. So Netflix is sort of proving the model of these online television channels. And I'm wondering if, now that the model's been proven, can it work for a specific purpose channel? Can it, can it work to sort of repurpose a cable channel? Could we resurrect tech TV as an internet channel? I don't know. What do you guys think? Leave a note in the comments, and thanks for watching.